Hello! My name is Navigator, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over my entire apparel collection. Now, uh, that might be a lot, you know, to put on your plate there, but the purpose of this video, uh, on top of, you know, kind of just documenting what I've collected in 76, is to, you know, show off what apparel items you might want to keep an eye out for, what apparel items mean the most to me, and why. And just overall, kind of like an analysis of apparel items, you know, which ones are good, which ones aren't, because I I have a lot of apparel items. I have very, cl I want to say I probably have 90%, maybe 80, 90% of the apparel items in this game, if not more. So there's definitely a lot in store here. Um, and obviously, you know, the ones I don't have are going to be the obvious, like super rare ones, but I do have some that are super rare. Um, I want to say, uh, I, this isn't going to be like going over like my rare apparel. I do already have a video on that. If you're interested in it, go check it out. You know, Navigator plays my rare apparel. So uh, I will show off those items, but I'm not going to like spend a lot of time on them. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm here in uh, Fort Ulysses. This is where I have uh, my like good armor and shit on display with these lockers. So this is where I will start doing this. All right. So, uh. Let's begin. Um, this is the stuff that I have in my vendor right now. Let me just show you all this. So the ba the beer hat, I have the Blue Ridge Caravan mask in here. Uh, for Actually, I should lower that price by a lot. That's pretty expensive. What are you doing there, Nav? Um, the cultist clothes, the Chally the Moo Moo outfit, anything with like really kind of just like unique looking stuff or stuff that was, you know, obviously rare, I... Uh, I have my vendor. The cultist stuff I have in here because uh, the event doesn't come too frequently. I want to say it comes like maybe twice a year. So I just kind of have this stuff in there in case anybody, you know, misses it. And uh, keep in mind that uh, I have on my vendors like messages and stuff. When I put out LFGs, uh, all my prices are always negotiable. Like if someone, you know, wants to pay uh, 20k for the Blue Ridge Caravan mask, I'm always open for something like that. And that's just an example. So let's keep moving on. All right. Again, just so through here, I have all the fucking, uh, the Elder stuff. I also have stuff like the Dirty Army Helmet, you know, the, the Marine Wetsuit, kind of like basic stuff, just in case, you know, you're, like, missing something, maybe you're doing some kind of build, you need something like that. Uh, the other things that I try to pride myself on, if I still have them, looks like I don't, but I love putting welding goggles and, like, medical goggles in here, because those are really cool headwear that not a lot of people have. So, that's just what I have in there. On display, don't worry really about that, just kind of some crazy stuff, although I do have the Vault 94 Scout mask on there which is kind of a, uh, a rare item so let's uh let's scroll down here get that out of the way and let's start at the top so this is the six marines helmet this is going to be the uh, the free states uh, atomic shop thing i like this a lot because it looks like an old world war ii helmet and i'm actually going to be using this for an upcoming build pretty soon the uh, the ranger I've, all right let me get this out of the way atomic shop stuff and fallout first stuff i'm not going to talk about because let's just go over the stuff that you can get in game you don't have to buy you don't have to unlock stuff like that so let's get that out of the way okay Arctos lab coat, really good to have. Uh, not too rare, although um, you could probably get away for like 500. Armor fatigues, I, I, I really, I, I try to have at least one of every item. So, uh, you know, the armor fatigues, they are cool, although I'm pretty sure are, I don't know if these are the Under Armour ones or not. Um, but yeah, it's just a cool outfit to have regardless, though. Assault gas mask, what else we got? We have the Asylum helmets, or the Asylum hats. I have a bunch of these. The red one is part of the very rare, very rare outfit, but you can actually find this one pretty easily. Um, yeah, just going through here, the Brotherhood of Steel hood, the baseball cap, the bathrobe. I'll go through this a little bit more slowly, just so you guys can see this stuff. And uh, the other point of this video is I'm going to go through all this. If there's something that you like, you see, like, oh, I wish I had that, you know, you can pause the video, see the name, and I suggest you guys go on, like, the wiki or something and go look it up. Like, if you type in Black Hard Hat Fallout 76 and go on the Fallout wiki, they will, there will be a way to find it, or they'll tell you some way to find it. So, yeah. You know, just a lot, a lot of stuff in here. We're just moving to the bees. The blue bandana. I actually really haven't scrolled through here in a while. I have a lot of duplicate stuff because I, pu I put these, like, on mannequins and everything, but this is really this is the best backpack. Oh, I have a couple Blue Ridge Caravan outfits. Um, what else do we have? The Blue Ridge Caravan gas mask. I actually just picked up another one yesterday, so that's five in total now. Holy shit. I have five of those gas masks. Gas masks. Um... Yeah, you know, coming through here. The bowler hat's always nice to have, although I don't I don't get this. There's the bowler, and then there's the bowler hat. I, they're exactly the same. I think it's just two different names, so. Yeah, nothing crazy. I got some Brotherhood lab coats. Actually, a lot of Brotherhood lab coats. A lot of the Brotherhood stuff, because uh, I do have a lot of friends in Brotherhood groups and stuff like that, so it's good to have stuff like this, you know, in case they're doing something. I can just kind of hand it out. Um... 
campaign hat. Oh, I love this was like uh, the the cowboy hat that I wear now before I even had it. I used to wear this thing all the time. I love the little logo they have on the front there. That's just so cool. Like the E Pluribus Unum. So sweet. Got some uh, some other stuff in here. The cave diving suit. Really awesome. And I wish you could put this on there. Um, with the Centurion helmet and you get this from Sc Earl or the Scorch Beast? I forget. This is a really, really awesome thing. And I should honestly do like a Spartan build or something like that with this, like a Roman build. Well, actually, Centurion's Roman, so Roman build. Um, some Shy the Moo Moo stuff, you know, just hanging around there. I, uh, this, so like, I want to say the Chally stuff, the Cultist stuff, Blue Ridge Caravan, anything in rarity above that. I try to have duplicates, if not more of. And that's so, uh, this is a thing, if you guys collect like uh, action figures or Funko Pops, there's an old saying in that community, you know, you keep one, uh, one for display and one to take out of the box. And that's kind of the way, the, the setup I have here, where I'll have one in my stash box, you know, in case uh, I lose one or I sell one or I want to sell one. And then I'll have another one, you know, just in case I want to wear it or not sell it or something like that. So it's always good to have two of each on this stuff. And apparel items, they really don't weigh a lot, so it's uh, it's not going to take up a whole lot in your stash box. Um, these combat helmets, I wish I could find more of the white, this white one. I think that this looks a thousand times better. i got to figure out if that's like a naturally spawning thing or if it's something you can equip on there. But combat helmets are awesome. I love the new Fnatic fucking striker helmet or whatever it is. It's really, really cool. Some communist stuff, uh, the Confederate uniform is always good to have. There's the Cop Cap Covert Scout mask, you can get this from go for Gold Bullion, I believe. Crumpled Fedora, more cultist stuff, jeez, we're already still in the seas. Yeah, I have so, mon so many of these cultist items, because what happens is I'll put them in my vendor, people will buy them, and I'll just throw them back in. And also, these cultist enlightened hoods are so versatile for anything. These things are one of the best apparel items that has ever been in the game. It's just a brown hood. It's so fucking cool. I love it. Alright, let's see what else we got. Deathclaw Hunter outfit, more army helmets, just in case. The Drifter outfit is pretty sweet. I like it a lot. It's, um, it's a low-level, very frequent outfit, but it's really cool. It's kind of this, like, cut-off leather trench coat. I like it a lot. It's really sweet. There's my Emin Mountain Hazmat suit, although I do want to get another one of these. I'm waiting for uh, this to dr actually drop for me at Rad Rumble. That would be so awesome. Some Enclave stuff I just had. I picked this up recently, actually, just in case I needed it or some one of my friends needed it. The Engineer's Uniform is a really sweet outfit. This and the welding goggles go perfectly together. Uh, the Eye of Ra, Fashville Raider outfit, blah, blah, blah. Oh, let's check out my masks. So I do have the, the Brahmin mask. I love this Brahmin mask. So sweet. Um, I do have some of the Atomic Shop ones, but I have two Crazy Guy masks. Two. I actually got those the last Fosh Knot. Uh, this Deathclaw mask I found in a vendor for 500 caps, if you'll believe that. This one I got on my last fucking, uh, the last time you could do it. Like, it was like, literally like 11 a.m., and the event ended at like 12, and I got this the last second. The giant mask, I've heard this is actually becoming more rare. This one in the human mask. Um, or, or the man mask. Yeah, this one's kind of rare right now. It's what I've been seeing. You don't see it a lot. You don't see a lot of people wearing it. Um, and I've seen it for some honestly pretty high prices. So if you do have this Foshnot man mask, you, and you're, it's in your vendor, maybe you should increase the price on it a little bit. What else we got? This is the other one I found in a vendor for 500. Absolutely bonkers. I I will never get over that. Finding that in the Deathclaw one for a thousand total. Just ridiculous. Uh, there's my Winterman mask. I was actually going to have another one of these, but I got scammed out of it. You can go check out that video, Nav Gets Scammed, but this is uh, the item I was trying to trade for. So, good thing I still have one, though. This is my my favorite Foshnot mask. I love this so much. Uh, I just want them to bring back the, the Foshnot Summerman mask, because he's kind of got the brown beard and the red head. I could have used that for a Hellboy build, to be honest, so I don't know, though. Let's move on. Let's see what else we got. Some more Field Scribe stuff, just Brotherhood stuff, you know. The usual lots of firemen, helmets, and uniforms. I love this outfit. Such a cool outfit. Very, very easy to get. Super inexpensive. And uh, it's just really fucking cool. I love how it looks. It's got a backpack on it, too, which is awesome. Got all the fisherman stuff here. The flannel jacket and jeans is not a bad outfit, although I just wish it wasn't an Under Armour. Some other cool stuff here. I just picked up another one of the Garahan Foreman outfits, so that's great to have. You can check out that video, Let's Go Shopping, Episode 4. Uh, this Garahan Foreman helmet is so cool, though. I should, honestly should have picked this up instead of the outfit, but oh well. Um, 
Got a bunch of ghillie suits uh, just in case. I know that the plan's going to be coming out pretty soon, but, you know, I figured I'd have them in here. Uh, I should have sold them beforehand, but oh well. These are really some of my favorite outfits, though, is the ghillie outfits. The gladiator helmet and outfit are so sweet. I should, I really should do, like, a Spartan or, like, a Roman Centurion build. That'd be awesome. Uh, or, like, a Legion build. Oh, that'd be a great idea. Legion, that'd be sweet. The gray knit cap is a really cool-looking item. If you need any kind of, like, beanie or anything, this is the one I suggest. You can typically find this, um, there's a boat near Camden Park. Like, right on the southmost part of Camden Park near the water on the Ohio, there's a boat, and sometimes this will spawn, if not, the wool fisherman's cap will spawn. Alright, Green Hood. This is a very good kind of beginner's item. Typically spawns over... Who's playing my guitar right now? But it typically spawns over at, um, what do you call it? The Sons of Dane compound. Pretty sweet for low levels. Kind of a cool-looking apparel item. Green rag hat. Eh, that shit's kind of... I don't even know where really, really I have that. Uh, Halloween costume skull. I was actually planning on doing a ghost from MW2 build uh, using this, so I think Stretch will actually have that role. But uh, this is a really cool, very, very cool uh, item, and a lot of people still wear this to this day. This and the glow-in-the-dark one as well. Uh, Hawaiian pants outfit. This is an outfit that I wear literally every day in real life. Maybe, maybe not the shirt, but the jeans and the flip-flops. That's uh, that's my daily outfit. Winter, summer, fall, whatever it may be. So, uh, the Fashna military beret, or not Fashna Hellcat. It's really cool, but it's an atomic shop item. What else we got? Hooded rags. Got two hunters long coats, which is pretty sweet. Um, I am very proud of that. I also have two longshoreman outfits. But Outfits, which I'm also proud of. We'll get to that in a second, though. Couple imposter sheep squash helmets, because these things are dope as hell. Uh, same thing with the outfit. The outfit is really, really cool. When I was a low level, like I want to say level 50 to 100, 150, this was my outfit. I wore this with, like, you know, the glasses and a bandana and the brown cowboy hat. That was my shit. Insurgent hat, I hate. I think it looks so stupid. Insurgent outfit is pretty sweet. I just don't really, really like the, the, the legs. They're kind of like beefy. I don't know. And a lot of people wear this one too, although it is really cool. Um, Pantsuits, all this shit. I don't care about that. I do have a leather coat though. This is a very rare item. I don't have the traveling leather coat, but uh, I don't really wear this too much, but it is good to have. Um, I did trade for this. Uh, I don't know. I should honestly get rid of it. I really just... It's not even that cool look of an outfit, I don't think so. I don't know, though. Maybe I'll figure out something to do with it. Okay. Moving on down. We're in the L's now. There's those two longshoreman outfits. I love this outfit. This outfit is so cool. It's got, like, its own backpack. It's got its own kind of, like, belt on. It's so sweet. Perfect Wastelander outfit. I love it. Makeshift Ronin helmet is great. You can get this plan from the Earl or Scorchby, something like that. Really, really cool helmet, though. And this is what I was talking about, the medical goggles right here. Excuse me, these are really awesome. Uh, if you mesh this with the Covert Scout armor mask, it kind of almost looks like uh, a clone trooper. Uh, I forget what his name, like Specs from the Bad Batch. Reminds me a hell of a lot of him, so... We got those mercenary outfits, more military fatigues, some bunch of mining helmets. I didn't realize this, but there's actually a bunch of variations on the mining helmet. So I've periodically and like, you know, over time kind of been collecting my or getting a collection of different colored ones. So you can see I got this, the white, black, yellow, piss yellow, uh, like kind of like steel, red, blue, another white one. There's a bunch of other ones. I think the hard hats have a bunch of other colors too, but these are really sweet. I love how they're kind of all over the place, and I think that the Mr. Fuzzy ones, yeah, right here, I have a teal one and a normal one on that, so there you go. Uh, these are pretty sweet. Oh, and here's all the nuclear winter stuff that I managed to pick up before it got fucking whatever, you, you know, blocked or whatever. Old fisherman's hat. Uh, I think this is the one that goes with the... No, no, no. No, it's not. Let's see. Pastor's vestments. Honestly, I always thought this was a really cool outfit. I kind of wanted to do like a preacher build, uh, like the AMC show, so I had this around, but I, this is just a pretty sweet outfit. I do like this one a lot. It's really sweet. Um, patch suit, actually. This is a uh, double whammy here. Patch suit is the outfit that Pikmin wears in Fallout 4, if you remember Pikmin. And on top of that, you can only get this uh, by redeeming Pleasant Valley claim tokens. So, this patched suit, all you know, as meaningless as it may look, is actually a uh, 
I won't call it rare, but it's a pretty uncommon outfit. So uh, go do your Pleasant Valley Claim Tokens. Get this outfit because it's honestly pretty decent to have. A little hard to get. So there you go. All right. What else we have? I got to work on my Pioneer stuff. I really want the, the Possum hat, the Possum campaign hat. I think that'd be so sweet. I'd love to display that or something. Pirate costume, good outfit to have. I have a bunch of them. Same thing with the hat. The hat is just brilliant. Such a cool fucking hat. Police uniform, Polly's old head. Uh, in my Let's Go Shopping video from yesterday, I found somebody selling this for like 7K. That blew my mind, but I just love how this looks like a Mandalorian helmet. And as opposed to the normal Assaultron helmet, you kind of have the uh, the little decal there in the back that says Polly's old head or whatever you want to call it. Polly built to kill. So there you go. Pompadour wig. Um... The only thing I don't like about this is it looks gray, but when you put it on, it's black. And I wish that it was like a gray-white pompadour, or maybe there were like different versions of it or something. That would have been so cool, because I, I love white hair. I love white hair. My character's got it. I'm hoping I can get it pretty soon, so there you go. Prisoner collar. Um, These work super well with uh, helmets. Like, if you wear the uh, the Ranger armor helmet, this works perfectly. Uh, it meshes right into the bottom of the neck, and it almost looks like this kind of, like, electric kind of extension of the helmet, where there's, like, this red light flashing, and it, you know, it just kind of adds more to the Ranger helmet. Uh, I really love this item. Really sweet. You know, you can throw it on with a lot of stuff. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to grab... One of, those, one of those out of there and kind of mess around with it later. So there you go. Some prisoner collars. Uh, the prospector's hat reminds me of kind of a cowboy hat, also like a straw hat. So I have that one. I now have two Radicals face masks. This is probably my favorite mask in the game. Uh, I've probably said that about eight times during this video. Um... But this is really, really cool. I wear this with my tattered field jacket and my wrapped cap. They mesh together perfectly. I think it just looks so cool. So there we go. Uh, the Radstag hide outfit. This is going to be uh, what I would say is the, the poor man's tattered field jacket. It looks very similar. It's not exactly the same. You know, colors aren't the same. The stuff on it isn't the same. But it looks pretty similar to the tattered field jacket. So if that's kind of the the style you're going after, the Radstag hide outfit might be a good first choice while you're waiting to get the tattered field jacket. All right, let's see what else we have. Also, I think the uh, the tattered rags, I think the tattered rags are also a good option. Okay. Some other atomic shop stuff, just some ranger hats. Ratty skirt. Oh, I got to get more of these. I used to have, I want to say like five or six of these guys, and you could probably sell them for two, three K because people like them, especially low levels. Um, but I gotta do Earl more often because I need more of these. Or gotta buy them more often, something like that. Because uh, these sell like hotcakes and they're really fucking cool looking. All right, uh, here's my my rare responder outfit. I uh, actually purchased this. Uh, Bethesda, don't terminate my account, but fuck you. Um, great outfit, really fucking so cool. Uh, I already love the fireman outfit. It's kind of like a darker version of it. It's just ten times better. Responders policeman uniform, kind of rare, kind of rare, not like, I mean, you can maybe get away with a thousand caps for this, but that's really going to be it. The responders paramedic jumpsuit, though, is a little more rare. This one, I would say uh, 2K, you could probably get away with like 2,500, but no more than that. Responders padded, sorry, ugh. responders padded jacket, everybody's got that, I don't need to say anything about it. Ritual binding, ritual mask, the road leathers, great for a Mad Max outfit if that's what you're into. Uh, what else we got? A bunch, bunch of other stuff. The samurai helmet. I should do a samurai build. That'd be a good idea. Uh, scavenger outfit's always good, too. Just kind of a, a basic outfit. Uh, some more Brotherhood stuff. The sea captain's hat. Um, this, I actually don't really remember where I got this from, but it is like one of a kind. Not like you can only find one, but there's like really not a lot of other headwear items like this that, you know, are kind of basic. The only other ones I can think of are going to be like the Enclave ones, but if you're looking for just kind of like a Mariner, or I guess, yeah, a Sea Captain's hat, this is this is literally perfect. Uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. Maybe uh, if you're doing some kind of like dress blues kind of thing. I don't know, though. Senior Night Jacket, that's my name for the Bomber Jacket. The Bomber Jacket is one of my favorite fucking items, although I wish that instead of the, uh, the like the Brotherhood Under Armour, it was maybe like some actual pants or something like that, but oh well. 
Beggars can't be choosers. Really great outfit, though. Honestly, you could probably sell that for a lot, too. Uh, Sheep Squatch. Headdressers, another name for my uh, my imposter. Sheep Squatch, whatever. Bunch of other shit in here. The mascot outfit. Silver Shroud. Ooh, how many Blood Eagle stuff do I have? Or how much Blood Eagle? I have three helmets, two outfits. Um, I'll say this. The, the suit, you really don't find it too much often. But the helmet, you do see it. And just, like, it's really cheap nowadays. So if you see it for cheap, pick it up. Really great item, and uh, a lot of lower levels will probably be wanting this so they don't have to do their daily app, so it's pretty good to flip. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, some other bullshit. The steel worker stuff. Strongman outfit. I actually didn't have that. I recently picked this up just so I could have one. Some sunglasses. Sorry, my nose is a little stuffed up. What else do we have? Swamp camo hazmat suit. There we go. There's my tattered, my tattered field jacket. Uh, fuck the tattered mole heads. There's the tattered rags. No, fuck the actually the the rad stack hide outfit's gonna be a lot better uh, than the tattered rags one. My bad. What else do we have though? Tin foil hat. Always a classic. Tinkerer's goggles. A new item that came with the pit update. Uh, they're kind of cool. Yeah, they're all right. Uh, Tinkerer's overalls. This outfit is actually really cool. I do like this one a lot. I love kind of the utility belt. Really, really great. Treasure Hunter outfit. Eh, you know, nothing too crazy. Although I'm going to use this for a Captain Price build. Trench Runner stuff, always great to have. Um, I actually really haven't even tried this on. I am excited for the upcoming camo version of this, though. It's going to be a camo uh, coat and a camo hood. So, Tulip Sky Blue shit, whatever. Union hat, Union uniform, I love these. These look so cool. I love how they have the Confederate and the Union outfits in this. Just such a great idea. Uh, my Urban Scout armor mask. I used to have two of these, but I actually traded uh, one of these for the Free Radicals. You might be saying, well, you know, the Urban Scout armor is more valuable than the Free Radicals mask. Well, I was actually giving it to a friend, uh, so the trade was really more for him than me. And uh, I got something that I wanted out of it more, so there we go. We've also got some Yushanka hats. I'll, I really want uh, Eugenie. Eugenie is the female ghoul from the Riding Shotgun event. I want her uh, like white powder winter sports Yushanka so fucking bad. So bad. I don't know why they haven't added it. Great helmet. Great outfit. My old trusty Vault 76 jumpsuit. Yes, I still have my 76 jumpsuit. I don't even know if you can like get rid of it or anything. But uh, yeah, I've always had this thing since uh, since day one. So there you go. What else we got? vault -Tec University jumpsuit. Veil of Secrets shit. My favorite baseball hat in the game. If this ever comes back uh, to the Atomic Shop, please pick it up. The West Virginia trucker cap. Um... Usually baseball hats in this game, I feel like aside from the uh, the American trucker one, uh, this one looks the best. I just feel like they look like they're too big and too stupid. Like, if you look at the VTU baseball cap, I don't know, just the logo on that looks so stupid. So, I don't know. We got some more stuff here. Some of the new Wasteland Wanderer stuff. What else? We got some welding goggles. The welding helmet. I love these. These I try to sell a lot because they're just really cool and they're kind of a rare item, to be honest. If you're looking for this or, like, the flight helmet or something like that, Go to the Ranger District office in the Cranberry Bog. These typically spawn there. What else do we have? Oh, I have a lot of these welding helmets, actually. West Virginia Drifter Helmet. Uh, don't worry about that. Western Duster. Just used that, actually. Western Outfit. White Spring Jumpsuit. I think that's really going to be it, folks. Ooh, Winter Jacket and Jeans. Another really rare outfit. Sometimes the Responders, uh, Traveling Vendor Bot, or Graham will have this. If you see it on either of those Pick it up 100%. Really fucking cool outfit. And uh, the thing I like about it the most is how realistic it is. It's just a basic ass jacket and jeans. I love that. Wolf Fisherman's cap. If you're looking for the gray knit cap, this could be the alternative that spawns on that boat near Camden Park. I have a couple of those. And then I think the wrapped cap. And this is the alternate, they're sorry, the other part to the tattered field jacket outfit. I tend to wear this a lot with my Free Radicals mask. They mesh together perfectly, and the horns on the Free Radical mask come out of the uh, the brim there on the hat, and I like that a lot. So, yellow slicker hat, this is going to be for the Longshoreman outfit. So, this is going to be part two for the tattered field jacket. This is part two for the Longshoreman outfit. And uh, honestly, that's the end of the list. I'm not going to waste really any more of your time. Um, so, yeah, I... 
I really just, I don't really know what the purpose of this video truly was. It's more or less for me. I kind of just want to document, like, what I've accumulated, stuff like that. But, again, uh, I'm putting this out there in case you guys, you know, see an outfit that you've never seen before and you want it. Maybe uh, maybe I answered where to get it, something like that. If I didn't, though, just look it up on the Internet. Go to the wiki. There's always going to be a way to find it, either that or the Reddit or something like that. But, yeah. Uh, so now you guys see uh, how much apparel I have. The reason that I love apparel so much is as opposed to like comics or, um, and I mean comics are like the, uh, what do you call it, the magazines and bobbleheads and shit like that. Um, you can actually, well you can display some of that stuff, but you can really get like awesome, you can put uh apparel items on some like awesome mannequins and displays and stuff like that. Not only that, can you wear it? And on top of that, uh, apparel items sell for, or rare ones, I should say, sell uh, more frequently and for a higher price than, like, the other kind of collectible items do. Or at least that's how I feel about it. That's my experience with it. So, um, god damn, I'm running out of fucking breath here. I gotta go, like, blow my nose or some shit. Uh, I'm actually gonna go play Warzone. If you guys haven't got Warzone 2 yet, I t would totally recommend it. It's really awesome, but yeah. Thank you guys for checking out my entire apparel collection video. Uh, I hope that this helped in some way. My name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.